year, it was reported that Adele scored her third Beverly Hills home, adding on to her growing compound here. The songstress spent $10 million on the mansion of her close friend and longtime next door neighbor Nicole Richie, who she shared a property line with since 2016. Adele purchased the 6,000 square foot plus main residence at that time for $9.5 million and then snagged the $10.6 million abode directly across the street, which is believed to be occupied by her ex husband. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the singer's growing Beverly Hills real estate empire. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Adele, as an English singer and songwriter who's considered one of the world's best selling artists, with sales of over 120 million records. At the time of this recording, her estimated net worth is at about $177 million. Even with that kind of money, the England native claims she would never be able to afford the mansion she has in LA if they were in London. The the successful songstress was also able to buy a collection of properties in Beverly Hills, which are worth about $30 million altogether. And as for why Adele owns three neighboring homes, she said that it allows her ex-husband Simon, who she divorced in 2019, to live just across the street from her and their son. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here in Famous Entertainment, this one looking at Adele's Beverly Hills compound, including her latest home purchase. We're trying to get to 500,000 subs on here and we're pretty close, so if you're watching and you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. As always, you can hit me up on Instagram to chat and now let's get into this video. In 2016, Adele purchased her first and main residence in the Beverly Hills neighborhood of Los Angeles, more specifically in the exclusive celeb-filled and gated enclave of Hidden Valley. Her neighbors here include the likes of Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis, Cameron Diaz, and Adele's gal pal Jennifer Lawrence. Not to mention her former next door neighbor and friend Nicole Richie, who she just bought the mansion off of. Records show Adele's main abode is gated and private and inside there's about 6,600 square feet of space with four beds and six baths throughout. The double height entryway boasts a grand staircase as well as glossy hardwood floors underfoot. There are two formal living rooms, both of which offer fireplaces and one with French doors out to the yard. The main floor of Adele's home also has an elegant dining room and office with built in desk and of course a kitchen and the chef's kitchen offers a large center island. There's also an impressive range here and much more while the space is open to a sunny breakfast nook with black chandelier and the family room complete with a fireplace and bookshelves. Some other bonuses include a butler's pantry with wet bar and wine fridge, and a second level library loft with vaulted ceilings and yet another cozy fireplace. Adele's plush master suite has a luxurious ensuite bath, two walk-in closets, and even a bonus room. Outside, the fully gated property has exceptional privacy, also being shaded by full-grown trees, and the backyard is well stocked to say the least. The grounds of her home are full of stone terraces, a cute garden area, a gazebo with porch swing, and fun add-ons like a dog run and a tree house, which make the property family friendly. Of course, there's a swimming pool and spa, as well as an alfresco dining area with grill to round out the features. In 2019, Adele began to add on to her Hidden Valley property portfolio with the purchase of the home right across the street from the one we just looked at. The singer turned out to be the secret buyer of this contemporary estate, costing her $10.6 million. It said that her ex-husband Simon is the one actually occupying this residence, at least for now, and it's one of the reasons behind the purchase. This could have been to make co-parenting easier for the former couple. Inside this home boasts just over 6,000 square feet of space with five beds and six baths, while the grounds cover nearly an acre. The stunning Beverly Hills home was built back in 1961, but has since been expanded and renovated. In fact, the original building was under 3,000 square feet, so they added a bunch of space. Inside, you'll find high ceilings and plenty of natural lights, as well as white, bright spaces along with a large sunken living room. The living room sits across from a raised dining area and features a fireplace and direct access to the patio. 
The eating kitchen at this crib is fully stocked with stainless steel appliances and wood cabinets. And nearby, there's a cozy library with built-in floor-to-ceiling shelves, another fireplace, and room for 2,000 books. Other features within the home include an art studio, custom fit crafts room, a fitness center with wall to wall carpeting, and a sunny home office. The master suite is privately located on the upper level of the home and encompasses a seating area with fireplace, custom walk in closet, and attached bath with jacuzzi tub. The space even has a private terrace that overlooks the grassy landscaped backyard. And the entire room, while well, it boasts a slightly retro feel, much like the rest of the home. Outside the property is a simple but large swimming pool with surrounding deck and plenty of trees on either side of the yard for privacy. While the third home was never officially listed on the market, records show Adele purchased her friend and next door neighbor Nicole Richie's home for $10 million. Adele and Nicole have shared a property line since 2016 when the singer bought her first and main residence in the Hidden Valley neighborhood. The lot of Adele's latest real estate purchase spans just over half an acre of land, while inside there's over 5,000 500 square feet of space with four beds and four baths. Built in 1957, the stately home has been renovated and expanded since, and while the exterior is quite traditional in style, the structure is uniquely long and narrow. Aside from Nicole and her husband Joel Madden, it's said that even actor Jack Nicholson once called this place home sometime in the 90s. The property is tucked away in the mountains above Beverly Hills and just a 10 minute trip to the famed Beverly Hills Hotel or Sunset Strip. The mini mansion wraps around park-like grounds and there's a manicured lawn and stone patio. There's a free-form swimming pool tucked into the terrace as well as a separate spa, both of which are dark bottomed. Adele's new corner lot home also has an attached garage, large hedge for privacy, and a half basketball court. When Nicole and Joel lived here, they kept the home's interiors quite private, but we could see it was designed in a contemporary yet vintage aesthetic. There are also multiple fireplaces throughout and a classy master suite with attached bath. Richie had previously given glimpses of the home on Instagram as well. Adele's trio of properties in the hills seem to have potential to become a giant compound. This latest mansion is actually right across the street from her BFF Jennifer Lawrence, who purchased her home in 2014, while their other neighbors are also high profile. Out of 33 homes in the Hidden Valley community, 11 are owned by megastars. Aside from the ones that I named before, Nicole Kidman and Keith Urban have a mansion here, as well as Katy Perry and Orlando Bloom, and even Penelope Cruz and Javier Bardem. All right, now that we've looked at Adele's property collection in Los Angeles, I think that brings this house tour to an end. Out of the three homes, did you guys have a favorite? I guess if Adele tires of one of them, she can simply walk next door or across the street to switch up her scenery. I think each home has something unique to offer, and I love the design of all of them. We couldn't see many photos of the newest home, but from what we could see when Nicole Richie lived here, the house had stunning interiors. Be sure to let me know down in that comment section which of Adele's luxury homes was your favorite. For the sake of this video, I'm just gonna go with the first one, a classic beauty. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me over on Instagram to chat, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!